Guys, for cheap and reliable coins, check out MuleFactory.com and use the code OWENFIFA at checkout for a discount. You can see, guys, they have loads of different coins up. Obviously, the prices will change as the game comes out more. It's cheap, fast, reliable. They do comfort trade, 100% legit, straight to your account for the cheapest price on the whole internet. Guys, I have started a free Discord. The link is down below in the description. Please do click and join the Discord. There'll be lots of different trading tips, stuff like that, in the actual um, Discord itself. But also, guys, I have started a Patreon. You can feel free to join at any level you like. See how it is. Um, you can make lots of different coins. I'll give extra tips, basically, you know, up to the gold tier where I will trade in your account for you and make you lots of coins. I'll be expecting you guys to make probably 1 million, 2 million per week with this. So, obviously, it's a very good value thing. So, yeah, I hope you do enjoy, guys, and I will see you all very soon in the video. Guys, what is going to today? Welcome back to a brand new video, guys. Today I'm going to be showing you an insane method that is very risky. Um, something that's a little bit rare as well. It's something very different that you probably never have seen either. Um, something happened the other day where these gold foot champs cards became very rarely um, tradable. So on the day of foot champs, they became tradable for about eight hours and people playing their games. Obviously, it was only the first few people that got their games. So basically, I got all these cards sniped because they will rise hopefully in price caps. So you see here these three uh, and these other couple um, here they're with 25k for Aspel Equator he's now 47 and a half so the risk we're going to take guys is that we snipe more of them and the price range goes up again obviously I've got Mbolo, Tushimani and Danjuma all for max um, at the time same with the Aspel Equator and Trap the Aspel Equator, Trap and Mbolo all rose up already so they are now like double the amount which is really good whereas Tushimani and Danjuma I bought literally a few hours ago so you can go and do this guys, all you want to do is literally find red picks and buy any of them. Other than Suarez I'd advise at the moment, Son as well is a little bit risky, like a million, but um, any of the cheap ones. So the way I would do it is, I'd put in gold um, foot champs card and then 30k and just have everything at 30k or less. So every single one that comes up and just hold them up, hold them on the in the transfer list or anywhere like that. And then try and sell them on for at least, I mean, you'll definitely get like at least 45k hopefully if the price range does change. But this is something I do go get some spare coins over from trading. I wouldn't go out there and sit and put all your coins into it because it could go wrong. Do you want to try and buy maybe one of each and just store them in your club and leave them there? Because it, that way you guys basically, you'll never know they're not there. And then one day you'll check and suddenly they'll be worth like 50k maybe. So it's the easiest way to do it just by building it up that way so you can see there's suarez 260k um this is max he was 100 and i think he's 150k the other day so he raised 110k it's 100k profit some people already made um same with like i spent quite a few 25k is now 47 and a half and loads of them are 30k um some like Foden, I think a 60k. That would be an insane one to get Foden for 60k, but unfortunately it doesn't really come up. And you can see here a Talisker comes up. I actually missed it, which is really frustrating actually. Um, I kind of wanted Talisker. He's quite a good one for 30k. Um, you can see in a minute there, you'll see in a second, another Suarez comes up. So this guy bought the Suarez. I don't know what reason he bought it for, but then he also relisted it because he realised it was already max price, which is really stupid actually. I couldn't quite believe someone had done that. Um, it was still glitching at this point. It is actually two of the same. But you'll see here now. I'll change it again to 250 and it'll be gone. You'll see there, look, 250. Um, just one Suarez up. So you want to just try and start the telescopes up again. I tried to get it again. I missed it with an orange this time. I was so close to getting it that time. Which is also so frustrating. But I can tell you that now I do have a Taliska. And I also have another guy, um, a right mid from Switzerland. So I'm trying to get as many as I can, guys. So I'd advise if you have some spare coins to go and do this. Because these could make you 20, 30k a card. Like doubling your coins on every single one like I did already the ones that I bought the other day I've always doubled my coins on already so at this point in the game I made about 80k off doing this you keep an eye out for this guy in every single foot child in case this glitch happens again but I hope you have enjoyed thank you so much for watching if you have please do drop a like sub if you're new and I will see you all very soon with a brand new video